I see most of you are questioning my sexual abuse claims W. At Ed Nanigua. Let me remind you all that Mr. Majanga went to his grave without getting justice for himself and lived his whole life as a cripple. You all remember just before the coup? Her leader was up for murder and a docket had been opened. Saka Amy Munota Kuti Knife Ni Secret Yangu here Sakaida Anna S.B. Moyo and parents Shiri who were murdered. I'm not going to keep quiet about it and this has been eating me up for years from being threatened Kunzi Yukasvatora Anafa, Hapana Kusiri Kufa Hamadzindu. Auxilia Amnangawa is busy looting the whole country through proxies. Kumazowe Uko Vanavake Vakatora Ma Mine Evan Hu Vain Paperwork Sveshasimba. Mazupko Amanan Yeperwa Everyday Kunzi Kwawea Mazupko 150 Anarara Huziku Huiza Chigazwa Chinswa Ku Border Makam Bozvi Binza Kuti Indiani and who's benefiting off Zupko. Listen citizens Kanan Dachiku Adzai Kuti Nika Yaparara. I'm even prepared to take a lie detector test to all those accusing me of lying. That man abused me and Kanan Dachiniepa as his people are saying Ngabud as from Ka. Do you also know about fake medicines that were bought on the black market in Zambia then Voida inflate my invoices at the Ministry of Health? When I met S.B. Moyo I had been abused by it Ed Mangagwa. And S.B. Moyo said I will protect you from today onwards. President Mugabe knew about my issue and before he passed on he even wanted me to come out in the open BT. S.B. Moyo advised me not to as it was not safe. At Matanda Mwayo because that WLD have been his third marriage and the divorce WLD be costly he said. I agreed W the arrangement in WLD fly to Zim every two to three months to be W him. I even had trouble W border security because they were wondering why my boyfriend couldn't visit me here in Australia BT Svinway Svanga Svizengaterike. President Mugabe even offered me counseling at the time BT I refused cause I felt I couldn't trust anyone, but I'm ready to talk now. His pull started destroying my character Kuvenhu. Before we got intimate, SB used to give those pep before and after sex. I'm HIV negative to this day BT I was grateful enough that he even shared his private information W me and because of his honesty that made me even love him more. When Kiwenga took over Ministry of Health it had nothing in its storage reserves, Auxilia Mnangawa and crew were taking everything and putting the medicines and machines at their private hospitals and selling them to the public using proxies. When I came to Zimbabwe when Obadiah Moyo wanted to invoice my donations to you taxpayers the generals had to act quick. The tenders were being awarded to dodgy people linked to Auxilia and her children. Kune Nyayi tender Yema Ambulance 100 that were Never delivered BT the person got paid and those ambulances never came. How does someone loot health stuff that's meant to assist the community? Moyo Wavo Horuajwe Waki to say Nevin Huvari Kutambura. Hashtag register, too. Votes you. At CCC Zimbabwe at Nelson Chimiza. Long before the Drax scandal Auxilia Mnangawa through her proxy at the Ministry of Health had been abusing donor funds meant for the vulnerable which is really the whole nation. All those groceries that were donated for COVID Niri Kaziba Kwasvaka and uh, In early 2019 there was a private jet that came to Zimbabwe and parked at Harare International Airport for a couple of days. These guys were Russians and wanted a deal in mining but because Chitando kept on going around in circles and signing their paperwork. These guys then offered polite Kambamura 150k cash and polite romped in the president's son in the deal and they flew on their private jet to Vic Falls where the president was for him to sign the paperwork. Which he did and sold your children's future for a song without a proper advisor in tow to dodgy investors. S.B. Moyo got hold of the contract and notified the other generals who were livid no Pakatanga noise. The schools are opening soon in Zimbabwe and most of the citizens don't have money for school fees for their children. The teachers are barely getting a minimum wage. Teachers under at CCC Zimbabwe at Nelson Chamisa shall be respected again in society. I see most of you celebrating Fumbudza. That is zero tillage that just got a name change in Oikwani Varambo Vemu Society BT Iva. They have the latest machinery and agriculture at their farms. Just because you are farmer doesn't mean that you have to break er. Back plowing the fields yet farming had been modernized. Under at Nelson Chamisa. At CCC Zimbabwe he's going to introduce smart agriculture and will make sure that there's equal distribution of inputs and machinery. On the 26th vote wisely hashtag register. 2. Votes you. 
For the sake of giving you closure, tempum les wa, I'm prepared for us to do DNAs through DNA Labs Australia ASAP. You can book an appointment through Dr. J. H. Posen or Dr. Stack J. L. And let me know the date so that I can send my representative. So we can put this issue behind us. If you have any issues, please let's communicate by email. The results will be out in two to three working days express testing. Zimbabwean focused youths, please don't get swayed by fake prophets who come from the diaspora to tell you nonsense and lie in your face in exchange of your precious minerals. Your vote during this coming election will shape Earth future going onwards. It's not normal that young people chase after thieves and call them boss and dance for their supper instead of having proper jobs and opportunities like what the Australian GDT does for its youths. Vote wisely, my brothers and sisters. Hashtag register, too. Votes you. The only way out for you is at Nelson Chamis at CCC Zimbabwe. Dot your vote this coming election will determine whether her parents will retire in poverty or in comfort. Do you want their pension stolen again? Vote wisely, citizens. Oh, yellow eye papo. Harare East, do you all remember the heydays when at BD Tendai got into office and made the whole nation happy except for ZANU PF ministers and MPs who got angry because they had been used to looting? On the 26th, go for gold and don't settle for brass. Indeed, better days are coming. Vote for it, CCC Zimbabwe. Oh, yellow eye papo. Street theater at its best. Citizens, you know who er real leaders are. They can make you attend their rallies out of fear and victimization. BT, on the 26th, you know what to do. Er children deserve to eat cake too. Vote for it, CCC Zimbabwe at Nelson Chamisa. At CD underscore Ostelos. Biggie Matiza left a four-year-old boy here in Australia who's starting kindergarten this year, and the baby mama Nayarzo told me yesterday that Biggie also left a similar message to her anyway God is for all of us. Citizens please hashtag register, too, votes you. And vote for at CCC Zimbabwe at Nelson Chamisa at Biggie, 10 die.